So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to divide voltages between resistors which are connected in series. And we are going to solve a couple of examples as well. Now two resistors are said to be in series if we have the same current flowing through them. So let's consider a simple circuit where we have two resistors connected end to end. And then we have a voltage source connected across them. So let's call the first resistor R1 and then the second R2. Now since we have the two resistors connected end to end, then it means we have the same value of current Ci flowing through each of them. Now this current I happens to be the total current which is produced by the voltage source and this current flows through each of the two resistors. Now as current flows through each of the resistors, some of the voltage is being dropped across each of them and the value of the voltage drop across each of the resistors is given by the product of the current flowing through the resistor times the value of the resistor so according to ohm's law if you want to find the voltage drop across r1 then that is given as v1 equals i times r1 and then if you want to find the voltage dropped across r2 then that is I times R2. Now, according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, let's say we are going to take the clockwise direction around the loop. Then according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, it says that the sum of the voltages dropped across the loop or around the loop should be equal to the source voltage. That is, we have V1 plus V2 should be equal to the source voltage V. Now let's substitute the expressions for V1 and V2 in here so that we have I times R1 plus I times R2, which is equal to V. Now we can rewrite V equals, we factor out I and then inside of the bracket we have R1 plus R2. So if you want to find the total current flowing through the circuit, which is I, then that is given by V divided by R1 plus R2. Now, R1 plus R2 is what we call the total, total resistance or the equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance. So that we have I equal to V divided by RT. So RT for total resistance and then REQ for equivalent resistance. But the two describe the same thing. They basically represent the combination of the two resistors in the circuit. Now what this primarily means is that if two or more resistors are said to be in series, then we can combine them by basically adding or summing the individual resistors. So let's assume that we have three resistors connected in series, connected end to end. So let's say this is two ohms, five ohms, and then three ohms. Then if you want to find the combination of these three resistors, or better still the equivalent resistance, then that is given by REQ, which is the same as RT, that is equal to, we add the values of the individual resistors. So that is, we have 2 plus 5 plus 3, and that is equal to 10 ohms. So the total or the equivalent resistance is 10 ohms. Now let's assume that in a circuit, like in this circuit, where we have two resistors, now, instead of finding the value of the total current and then multiplying the current by each of the resistors to get the voltage dropped across each of the resistors, we can use what we call the voltage divider rule to find the voltage dropped across each of the resistors. So we call that the voltage, voltage divider rule. Or basically you can say voltage division we can use voltage division to find 
the value of the voltage dropped across each of the two resistors. So to find the voltage V1, which is the voltage dropped across R1, that is given us or by R1 divided by the sum of the two resistors times the source voltage, which is V. And then if you want to find the voltage dropped across R2, that is given by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times the source voltage V. So this is how to apply the voltage divider rule to find the value of voltage dropped across each of the two resistors. Now also notice that the voltage divider rule is only applied to find the voltage across series resistors. We use the voltage divider rule to find the voltage dropped across series resistors. Now let's move on as we consider a few examples. So let's try to solve our very first example. That is find the voltage drop across both resistors. So in this circuit, we have two resistors, 47 ohms and then 150 ohms. And then we have two voltage sources, 15 volts and then 22 volts. And we are asked to find the voltage drop across both resistors. In other words, we want to find the voltage drop across 47 ohms and then 150 ohms. So how do we solve this problem? Now we should understand that the two resistors are connected in series because we have the same value of current going to flow through each of them. Again, we are going to consider the conventional flow of current that is current leaves the positive terminal of the voltage source. Now we are going to take the clockwise direction. And so we assume that we have current I leaving the 15 volts. Now this current flows through 47 ohms and then into this 22 volts. Now because we are taking the clockwise direction, we have I opposing the flow of this 22 volts, the current that will leave this positive terminal and hence we have this value going to be negative. Now according to KVL, Ketchup's voltage law, we know that the sum of the voltages dropped across the circuits or dropped across each of the resistors should be equal to the source voltage. So we have the source voltage on the left and then the voltage drops on the right. So we have 15, 15 plus negative 22 because we have I opposing the flow of current produced by the 22 volts. So 15 plus negative 22 equals we have I times 47 plus I times 150. Now let's simplify further. So 15 plus negative 22 is negative 7 equals we have 47I plus 150I. Now if we add the two values on the right hand side, we are going to get 197i and that will be equal to negative 7. Since we want to find the value of i, we divide through by 197, 197 and then we have the value of i to be equal to negative 0 0.0355 amperes. So this is the value of current flowing through the circuit. Now we are asked to find the voltage drop across 47 ohms and then 150 ohms. So the voltage drop across the 47 ohms is giving us, we have the current I times 47 and thus we have I to be negative 0 0.0355 times 47. So we multiply the two values and we have negative 1.6685 volts. So we can simplify this as negative 1.69 volts. So that is the voltage drop across the 47 ohms resistor. Now let's find the voltage drop across the 150 ohm resistor. We have V150 ohm equals we have I to be negative 0 0.0355 times 
times 150 we multiply the two values and then we have negative 5.325 and then we simplify this as negative 5.33 volts so that is also the voltage drop across the 150 ohms resistor so if you want to add these two voltages or these two voltage values then it should be equal to the sum of the source voltage which is 15 plus negative 22 that is negative 7 if you should add these two values you should get something around negative 7 volts now let's move on as you solve the second example so to the second example we are going to find the total current in the circuit and the voltage drop across the 120 ohms resistor so let's solve this problem as well now we have one voltage source and then six resistors connected in the circuit and then all the six resistors are connected in series they are connected end to end so let's assume that we have current i produced by the nine volts now this current is going to flow through each of the six resistors because they are all connected in series and we are also going to take the clockwise flow so what we are going to do at first is to find the total resistance in the circuit so the total resistance rt is giving us we basically add each of the six resistors so we have 330 plus 120 plus here we have 1.5 kilo ohms so to convert this to ohms we basically multiply this value by 1000 and when you do that then you have 1500 ohms so plus 180 plus 390 plus 47 and then you have rt to be equal to 2000 567 ohms now let's convert this to kilo ohms so that we have two points so in converting this value to kilo ohms we simply divide by 1000 so that we have 2.567 kilo ohms so that is the value of the total resistance in the circuit now according to ohm's law that is given by v equals ir we can find the value of the total current in the circuit by dividing V by R. So by RT in this case. So we have V which is 9 volts divided by RT we have 2.567. Remember that this resistance is in kilo ohms. Now we divide 9 by 2.567 and then we have 3.506 and notice that the unit is in milliampers because here we have the value in kilo ohms so we have i to be 3.506 milliampers so that is the total current in the circuit i now we are asked to find the voltage drop across 120 ohms the voltage drop across 120 ohms so that is also giving us v across 120 equals current i in this case 3.506 milliampers times 120 so that is equal to we have 3.506 milliampers times 120 ohms when you multiply the two values you have 420.72 notice that the unit for the current is milliampers so we are going to arrive at millivolts so that is nearly 421 millivolts that is the voltage dropped across the 120 ohm resistor